Wearing the Megamind, the device recognizes the user with its UID. Megamind shows the co-pilot a welcome screen and the flight details. The co-pilot then fills the tech log in the offline mode that can be shared with the maintenance engineer when the flight comes to the VHF range using the frequency other than the one used by ATC. On the ground, the maintenance engineer's Megamind receives the checklist showing the number of hours left for the check. The smart mind system of the aircraft sends the health data to the Megamind. The maintenance engineer is supposed to greet the pilot and know about its health after the flight lands. However, with the help of Megamind, the conversation with the pilot can be done beforehand when the flight is in air in the VHF range. The conversation is carried out with a feature of video calling. Also, the pilot can easily show the condition of the cockpit to the technician or maintenance engineer with the additional screen sharing feature. Thus, the problems, parameters, and values can be known to the maintenance engineer much before the flight lands and he can get ready with the problem solving methods. In the back end, Megamind keeps a check on the fault history. Based on that, it predicts the parts required to be replaced and can be collected or ordered beforehand. To gather the special tools from the inventory, the technician no longer needs to find the tools and make the entry manually. With the help of Megamind and Nairobi technology, the tool can be easily seen highlighted and the UID of the person taking it is left behind. The visual check can now be done using light detection and ranging, that is LIDAR drones. These drones will automatically analyze the tents and defects on overall surface of the plane, therefore saving the time of manually doing the visual check. The LIDAR technology used in the quad drones can easily do the visual check in any weather condition. Megamind also has the feature of auto marshalling with the availability of two modes. The first mode is the animated marshalling, which a pilot can easily relate to due to the current standard procedure of marshalling. The second mode is the digital one where the direction and speed required is indicated. On the basis of few factors like criticality, tool requirement, time consumption and relative distance, Megamind prioritizes the order of problems to be resolved. Based on the prioritized list of problems, the issue and the corresponding tools required to troubleshoot is indicated on the screen of the technician. In case the technician finds a problem in troubleshooting, there is a video available for his reference from the past solved problems. If it is a new problem, it will get recorded automatically. For further guidance, Megamind provides the feature of screen sharing where the lead technician can provide the guidance through hand gestures if required. These hand gestures get converted to digital indications by the artificial intelligence of Megamind.